video question to our website. The address is on the screen to find out how to do that. Our next question is a video. It comes from Andrew Watson in Blackburn, Victoria. Question for Richard Dawkins. The big bangers believe that once there was nothing, then suddenly, poof, the universe was created from a big bang. If I have nothing in the palm of my hand, close my fingers, speak the word bang, then open my fingers again, still I find there is nothing there. I ask you to explain to us in layman's terms how it is that something as enormous as the universes came from nothing. Richard Dawkins. Well, obviously, you're not a physicist. Um, no. <laughs> and nor am I. And uh, I am delighted to say that during my time in Australia, I shall be having a number of conversations, public conversations, with my colleague Lawrence Krauss, uh, including one in the Sydney Opera House uh, later, I think it's next week. Um, and he, he's written a book on exactly that topic of how you can get something from nothing, and I shall be questioning him about that. Of course it's counterintuitive that you can get something from nothing. Of course common sense doesn't allow you to get something from nothing. That's why it's interesting. It's got to be interesting in order to give rise to the universe at all. Something pretty mysterious had to give rise to the origin of the universe. Now, if you want to, re to replace, if you want to replace a physical explanation by an intelligent god, that's an even worse explanation, it's an even more difficult explanation. What scientists are trying to do is to explain how you can get not just something, but the immense complexity of the, of the world, of the universe, and of life. And science is making a pretty good fist of doing that. Uh, life is now completely solved, barring the details. That was Darwin's contribution and Darwin's uh, su successors. Physicists are still working on the origin of the cosmos. Among them is Lawrence Krauss, whom I, whom I shall be talking to uh, next week. Now, it is very mysterious how the universe came into being. It's a deeply mysterious and interesting question. And, and can I just interrupt? It's an old question, a very old question. Thomas Aquinas in the 13th century was asking the same question. He said, there must have been a time when no physical things existed, but something can't come from nothing. That was his view. It's just well, been repeated by us. Something era. can come from nothing, yeah. and that's what physicists are now, are now telling us. Um, I could give you, you asked me to give you a, a layman's interpretation. It would be a very, very layman's interpretation. Um, when you have um, matter and antimatter and you put them together, um, they cancel each other out and give rise to, to nothing. What Lawrence Krauss is now suggesting is that if you start with nothing, the process can go into reverse and produce matter and antimatter. The, the theory is still being worked out. It's a very difficult theory, mathematical theory. I'm not qualified to answer the, the, the question, but what I am sure about is that it most certainly is not solved by postulating an intelligence, a creative intelligence, who raises even bigger questions of his own existence. That certainly is not going to be the answer, whatever else is. George Pell. Thank you. Um, but the trouble, well, there are many troubles with Richard's uh, teachings, but a, a fundamental one is that he dumbs down God and he soups up nothing. <laughs> uh, he, 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 can, he continually talks as though God is some sort of upmarket figure within space and time. Now, from 450, 500 BC, uh, where with the Greek uh, philosophers, God is outside space and time. God is necessary, self-sufficient, uncaused, unconditioned. That's the hypothesis you've got to uh, wrestle with. The second thing is that Krauss says nothing about uh, uh, the Big Bang coming out of nothing. Uh, and he, it's, admittedly, he comes clean in, on about six pages from the end of his book, and I don't know whether Richard has read it that far because he gave it uh, a, a forward. Uh, what he says is, is uh, what, he, what Richard is describing as nothing is a sort of a, a mixture of particles and perhaps a, a vacuum with electromagnetic uh, forces working on it. That's uh, what Krauss is talking about 
under the heading of nothing. And there's a very good uh, review of this in the New York uh, Times, not a pro-religious paper at all, uh, where the Krauss is absolutely um, denied and, and demolished, although uh, uh, especially by his supporters claiming that he says things come out of nothing. He, he doesn't say that. It's okay, a matter, you can, quickly respond to you can, you can dispute exactly what, what's meant by, by nothing, but whatever yeah. it is, it's very, very simple. <laughs> and <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> well, I think it's a bit funny to be trying to define nothing. Can I put that to you as a question? Is it, is it equally um, feasible?